Good morning, friends. How are you today? Uh, I'm Dita, and today is Monday. I'm thinking of uh, capturing some three days off. I have three days off. Sounds like a dream, yeah? So I watched this weekend, unlike last weekend. And Monday is usually, for me, one of the best days. Monday is the day everyone goes away. It's that one day there's no child here. And hubby just left. We were just having coffee together. I didn't even finish mine. And uh, I'm drinking it slowly as I walk around the house. Uh, so the guys have gotten into this habit of just maintaining the house very well during the weekend. They may not even clean, but they just make sure that there's not too many dishes. I, I, I'm even surprised to find that they forget to take out the garbage. So I was actually just getting a jeweler. Uh, in, in this Worcester area, we use... A we use these jewelers they're like 10 we buy for it's like a te 10 dollars each and it's just a roll that fits in our garbage bag but it supports the city it's like paying for our garbage services so when you run out of this trust and believe if you don't have your garbage bagged <laughs> in this by the garbage collection day um you you can't take your garbage out it has to be in these yellow bags um since i came to the basement i'll have to go back upstairs with the chicken for uh today is also fridge wiping day so i have to do that and get the fridge organized so my one trip today is going outside to take the garbage out and let me tell you, look at this weather. I I know sometimes I'm too much with this thing of seasons, yeah? But I've been studying myself. And I can tell you, everywhere I've ever lived, I always noticed how the sun streamed in from outside. Hey, yo. Fresh air, how are you? Eish. You guys, look at how the grass has been dry in winter. You would think because it is the wettest, wettest season, the grass would be green, yeah? But it so happens that the sunniest season is when the grass is, dry, is green. So that will wait there. So it means on Friday we might have two or three garbage cans uh, we have to prepare our garden we are so late and uh, I have to communia this uh, sponges from last season I, I am surprised to see some spring onions survived anyway so I wish I could stay here longer but yeah like I said Monday tends to be a bit tight for me uh, this season, I think the guys will paint the decks. This uh, weird red color is the color of choice. We'll get rid of some of the deck seats. This one broke. Very sad. <laughs> this one farmers seats from, from Orlando. Those were his porch seats. Look at me. Instead of cleaning, I'm over here swinging. I should actually give myself five minutes here to just enjoy the sun, get some vitamin D. Because the way it is, when it's winter, we have to get vitamin D from uh, supplements. Don't you just love uh, hearing the birds sing? This is beautiful. <laughs> Let me tell you, when we first came to this house, this deck was so broken. I will show you how it was then. Uh... So this was the first time ever for me seeing this house. We had come to clean it and we had come before uh, to view, but we couldn't get in because the owner had this huge dog. It's, it's so huge. And my son doesn't like aggressive beings. So we didn't, we didn't get in. 
Uh, we remained outside and let me just admit that I couldn't see the vision, right? I, I, I fell in love with the outside, the compound, the size of it. It's amazing. And even the house looks so beautiful from outside. But this was the inside. And uh, while the guys were like, ah, we can do this. I wasn't that positive. I was scared. I could not imagine uh, the work we had to put in. I was not feeling it, but we kind of didn't have a choice. It's like we had made the decision, signed the contract, <laughs> so to speak. And look, look at how young the guys looked. Yeah, they were tiny, tiny boys. Eh? Uh, but let me tell you, everyone uh, came together. We did this project. We encouraged each other, and uh, we did a thing. And in so doing. We find, found ourselves finding the kind of rest that we had been craving for, for all these years. Do you know what I'm saying? So when I couldn't see it, I'm grateful that God even sent some friends. I wasn't feeling what they were saying then. Like uh, uh, one, of, one of my friends was telling me to just embrace it because... It, it could be ours. And I was like, I do I do not want this. Do you, do you see Shosho's deck? Uh, it was just as old. So it, it was a lot of work. There was nothing around me looking like revival, looking like restoration, you know. But you know how the Bible says, though the, the vision tarries, wait, it will come to be. You know, loves, uh, there was a time... I would pray and I would write in my notebook that, Lord, I want our family to be restored. It had been seven years of being apart, something we didn't expect when we first started the journey. Uh, we started it with positivity. Your desires will take you to a place where you'll be like, I'm down for whatever, but it's in the journey. You discover the details and it can be very difficult. But... Uh, it's true. Though the vision tarries, wait for it because at God's right time, he will make it happen. And sometimes we pray and then we even give up along the way. We change that kind of prayer and we start now looking into other things and believing for other things and even allowing other possibilities to take place. And, um, Sometimes you don't even treasure what you have because it is so difficult to keep or to maintain. But that is where the promise lays and that is you have to do the work in order to possess, right? So friends, uh, when God gives you a new thing, uh, like a chance to uh, do your life again uh, or uh, takes you to the next level, it will cost you and sometimes you're thinking of only new things happening a new a brand new house with all the amenities you know but this is a perfect example of the isaiah 54 we were talking about that the israelites were in captivity in babylon and they had built so they had a hard time thinking we are going to a uh, home to, to restart again, we, we don't know about that. We cannot do it because the journey has been hard. It has been painful. But the Lord was like, afflicted city, last, lashed by storm and not comforted. I will rebuild you. And it takes your involvement. Because God uses people, how is he not going to use your hands to rebuild the land that he's giving you? You understand? So every morning for the past three years, I've come here and just gazed over this uh, landscape and said, I'm blessed. I'm so thankful. This is what made me fall in love with this uh, house. It's from this deck that I could observe the seasons and just marvel at what God does. But look at my Worcester, you guys. We live in an old house, in a very old city. But look at this charm of this old city. There's so many things hidden inside here that we don't even know. We haven't scratched the surface. And so many people have come to invest, renew the city. Like I said, it's very old. They're uh, even bringing down some buildings putting new buildings, new shopping areas, new apartments. And, you know, it is the season of renewal. Do you believe it? So, yeah, this is what is happening and I'm here for it.